Here we go, start to day three. We spent the night in the La Quinta Cutler Bay, Miami Cutler Bay. Ah, I can't really recommend this place, it's pretty rough. But beggars can't be choosers when you got an over 50 pound dog, there's just not a lot of places to stay. Today I'd like to see Robert is here and hopefully get down to Flamingo Marina and then we'll just see what else we get up to. Thanks. We are at Robert is Here's fruit stand, our first stop. And look at what I found. Coconut palms. We don't have coconut palms up near Orlando. Okay, this is Robert is Here fruit stand. Let's check it out. Fresh fruit milkshakes. Onions and the tomatoes. Oh no, me too. Hello. So pretty. Well, that place did not disappoint. This is one of my uh, more interesting stops. I really like this. I wouldn't skip this. I almost did, but I would not. This place was amazing. Here we are entering Everglades National Park on, what is this, 9336? Here we go.
Okay, when we went through the park ranger check-in, she said there was a missile site open house today, and I really want to see it. Nike Missile Base open house 10 to 2. Restricted area. Wow. Stop recording. Okay, so I uh, stopped that park ranger right there and just asked him. We're allowed to just drive around and look around. This is amazing. So in the middle of the Everglades Swamp, there were missile sites, and there appear to be quite a few of them out here. You can see the mounds all around. Okay. Look at this. Okay, so here was the deal. 36 missiles here from 1965 to 1979. They started building in 62. They were not underground, of course. The, they were in barns like this, in bunkers, with earthen mounds built around them. And they would keep three missiles in each barn. That's amazing. That's really cool. That's the uh, warhead. I'd love to know where those go. That is awesome. And blood pink. Okay, so here's the deal. You see that gray concrete right there? That's the entrance to the bunker where the crew would sleep and control the missiles. You see an escape hatch here and an escape hatch here. And then around the corner is the barn where three missiles would be kept. That's cool. Check out this hole. picnic of champions in the high wind we picked up some miracle berries and they really do work i got a lemon here and i tasted the lemon and it was so sour and then run these berries these miracle berries all over you tongue and then taste it and it's like lemonade Mosquito stuff toy. A little bit of everything in the camp store. 
including lots of fishing gear. Mama, a couple of babies, and they've got a fish in there. A big one. Lundercroft. Well, this has been a wonderful day. I've almost got my trifecta. I've seen the alligators and plenty of them and the crocodiles. I'd really like to see a python or a boa constrictor though. These are dwarf cypresses. I think they can be hundreds of years old and still be small. So the end of day three. Today we started the day at Robert is here somewhere up in here. Then we went to Ernest F. Co. Now when we were there we saw a sign that said they were having a Nike missile site open house which was not something we planned. It cost us thirty dollars to get in by the way at Ernest Co. But that also included Shark Valley if you wanted to go over there. So we drove through the woods to this Nike missile site, and we that was the high point of our day. We really enjoyed the, seeing the uh, historic missile site that was there from like 62 to 79. Then we went back out and got on this main road and drove all the way down to Flamingo Marina. There wasn't much down there. Uh, there's the marina, and there's a campground, and I'll include a video of the campground. Now we did see a monstrous croc there but really just by accident i just kind of stumbled across him and a family of ospreys which i'll include but to me the section over here yesterday was a much better ride we saw a lot more wildlife lots of gators <laughs> 